I'd say the, the biggest thing we're showing off is our new hot end that we debuted yeah. actually, I guess, yesterday morning. We had a press conference at 10 a.m. Okay. showing this thing off. Uh, this is our newest hot end. It's the next evolution of the Mosquito hot end. Yeah. It's called Mosquito Prime. Mosquito so Prime? Had Mosquito, Mosquito Magnum, Mosquito Magnum Plus, yep. now Mosquito <laughs> Prime. So so what's, what's special about this one? Yeah, yeah. So it is a uh, Mosquito yep. uh, essentially on the top. It's got the same heat the same sink design, and, and, heat, sink, and yeah. heat break. What's changed is the hot block where it's about twice as long now as the Magnum so Plus hot block. Is this block. the whole hot block right yep, here? Yep, that whole thing's hot That's block. That's incredible. It's got a That's lengthy huge. 61 millimeter melt zone so, where it's melting the filament over a longer period of time for higher <clears> flow. So what are we, can you print PLA with this or yep. are you, so it doesn't clog? No, nope, it doesn't clog. So uh, it's because of our bimetallic heat break, it's super thermally efficient here. Okay. And so it isolates the heat down below in the hot block very well. Yeah. So it's not gonna clog. Gotcha. And but I assume you're gonna need something like really torquey in order to actually push filament through it without. Uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna need a good extruder, but I mean, you don't need to have the craziest thing in the world. We love Bond Tech. Yeah. We have them. We're showing yep. off their stuff Noticing. with us at the booth. Got a partnership with them. Yeah. So we love um, using Bond Tech extruders, but yeah, having a, having a good extruder does doesn't hurt. Gotcha. Um, especially to take full advantage of the hot end. Yeah. So what uh, what kind of flow rates are we getting out of this thing? So this is right now it is the fastest hot end in the world in terms of maximum practical volumetric flow rate. Yeah. It's kind of a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> it it like is that. 116 millimeters cubic Whoa. millimeters per second, or about half a kilo an hour oh of uh, filament. Uh, that was with a 1.4 millimeter nozzle um, PLA. Gotcha. Uh, just printing as fast as we can. We've got a full white paper over here and on our website yeah. where we outline the full testing parameters, how we got those numbers. Okay. Um, we were actually able to go faster, but like practical 116, it looks good. It sounds so, like to me that hearing 116 almost sounds impractical. How like, yeah. that's a lot of plastic. I mean, it I, is. You're, not, you're not printing something tiny. You have to, in order to be able to cool the plastic before you come back over yeah, there. Yeah. Are, are you able, like, what's the, what have you been printing at that size? Uh, so our, our flow rate tests are actually, we're, they're kind of this like repeating pattern sort of thing that we do. Okay, yeah. Um, where we're going up over layers and we're chain the, the speed uh, of the extrusion kind of goes as you step up. That's yeah. kind of outlined in the white paper. Yeah. Um, so it's moving very fast and changing this kind of zigzag shape is as it, it's going. Is it one of the ones that's really flat in the back and it's kind of wavy in the front? Is that the flow rate test that you're it's, talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's kind of like okay. that. Yeah, yeah, we have, it's it's only, uh, it's our like own one that we've kind of developed oh, okay. that we I use, yeah. but we've done that. We've printed some of the stuff that we have here. Some of the prints we have yeah. were printed uh, with prime, printed lots of different materials. Yeah. Um, in terms of what you would practically print with this, you can kind of do uh, really anything you want, but you're printing with bigger nozzle sizes. Yeah. We, we don't really recommend going below a 0.8 nozzle. You can go down to a 0 0.4, 0.6, but at that point it's like, you're kind of wasting the potential the, of it. So is this running a 0.4 or is it running a 0.8? Uh, I would I would run no less than a 0.8 on Okay, it. I was about to say, um, 116 millimeters yeah, yeah. for some Yeah, that's, for, on that, for that testing, it was with a 1.4 millimeter nozzle. One point, okay, yeah, so yeah. so you're, this is, is this uh, geared towards kind of the consumer, prosumer, or professional it's, market? It's industrial. Industrial, okay. Yeah, so this is, this is uh, it is not, you're not putting this on a Creality Industry <laughs> yeah, or a Prusa like, machine. Uh, or probably not like the small Prusa machines. The XL, I don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah. But really, it's it's for industrial uh, production. People are trying to produce things and achieve parity with traditional manufacturing methods. Gotcha. Yeah. No, this definitely doesn't seem uh, like something that you know. I'm not going to be putting this on an under three and then no. <laughs> and then post on a video on the air like, oh look at me go. I'm there, I'm going to run into more problems. I know. Ever. I'm sure some people will try, but it yeah, that's not it's, what its intended use case is for. By the time you've got this hooked up to an Ender 3 or, or you know, even a Mark IV or whatever, it's, it's not going to be that printer anymore. You're going to yeah. have every single part replaced and the only yes. thing you're going to have left is the extruded aluminum frame. Yeah. You're probably not going to be running Marlin. You're going to be on Clipper or you're going to mm -hmm. be... So this yeah, is pretty, this pretty cool. Lot. Yeah, and on, just the, the, the fact that this uh, hot zone is as big as it is, is it, that's incredible because to me, one of the big issues I've had with printing is getting things cool and actually getting getting filament to actually flow out versus just clog immediately. Mm -hmm. And so seeing the size of this is just remarkable. Yeah, it's uh, we're super excited about it. It's uh, it's definitely a big step towards yeah. us moving 
we're with every hot end we've come out with, we're pushing more towards professionals and the industrial market. And so this is the first one we've created and it's like, it is for industrial manufacturing. Gotcha. So, so it's super exciting. So is Wise Engineering gonna be partnering with any major uh, industrial partners to get this, you know, in, you know pre-installed on industrial printers? Or? That's the goal. We definitely, we you know, we want to work with OEMs and, yeah. and original manufacturers to be uh, getting this on their printers, get yeah. this in production processes that are already out there that are using FDM or want to use FDM. Gotcha. Um, we'd love to have it on, you know, every industrial FDM machine in the world. Gotcha. That'd be great. Yeah. And I hear you have a brand new nozzle. So we is do. that installed on this as well? So or? it's not on this one, but I do have one of them right here. We only have a few. This one's a, a more prototype nozzle. It's a nozzle. But it's, it's tiny. a yeah, standard um, rep wrap style in terms of sizing. So the M6 by one so thread, can, seven can, millimeter thread I can length. Screw this onto my Prusa, my Creality. Yep. Much, okay. Any 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 printer that's using the standard rep wrap nozzle, you're going to be able to use that. It works with all of our hot ends, obviously, but of course, plenty yeah. of other ones out there. Um, but what makes this guy unique is that. Um, currently, we have two nozzles. We have our vanadium nozzle, which is okay. a hardened steel yeah. nozzle for abrasives. And we have the Bridgemaster nozzle, which is a copper <clears throat> nozzle yeah. um, for high thermal performance. And so the biggest problem with those is that if you're printing with Bridgemaster and you're printing PLA or PETG or whatever, yeah. and you want to move over to a carbon fiber or a glass fiber filament, you got to yeah. change your nozzle. And then if you want to go back, course, it makes yeah. sense to move back because with uh, a steel nozzle, you got to raise your nozzle temps like five to 10 yeah, and I mean, it becomes not, annoying. With, you know, brass is more thermally conductive. Yes. It gets hotter. If I put a, something hardened steel on, I got to, uh, you know, I'm going to get clogs or I'm not going to get even extrusions. So, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a lot of math and figuring out exactly where you need to be for all your filaments and you got to keep a spreadsheet oh, or whatever. Oh, trust me, I know. It's, yeah. it's a nightmare. So, it's a nightmare. So, so what Gamma Master is, is it is a abrasion resistant nozzle um, with abrasion performance much like our vanadium nozzle, yep. but the thermal performance is much more similar to that of brass than oh. it is to a uh, hardened steel nozzle. So I can print fast and I'm not gonna ruin my, I'm not, I'm not gonna yep. print a 0 0.4 nozzle and a 0 0.8 after half a kilogram of carbon fiber. Yes, so yeah, it's, it's abrasion resistant, but Fantastic. you don't need to turn your nozzle temps up. And then the, the, the really exciting part of it and the reason why it's called Gamma Master is it has this uh, new coating we've uh, formulated and it's called the low gamma coating is what we're oh, calling okay. it. And what it is, it is an anti-adhesive coating that has a very low surface energy. So it prevents plastic accumulation okay. at the nozzle's tip. So, so previously, so previously Slice has had a plastic uh, repellent paint or I'm yep. not sure what it's called. Yes. I've got some of it at home, but it's, in, it's incredible stuff. It works great, and, it does. And so with this, it's just naturally, you know, plastic repellent? Yes, or? it is. Yeah, we're calling it anti-adhesive to differentiate it from the plastic repellent paint. Because oh, okay. the plastic repellent paint is uh, a PTFE based paint. Gotcha. And so it's got temperature limitations. You really can't go above 270 with it. Okay, yeah. With this, the coating is good up to 380. The substrate's good up to 500. Our coating, you're not gonna start getting the benefits above okay. 280 or, or 380 C. Gotcha. So it is a completely different formulation, but it's basically got built-in plastic repellent paint. But so with um, this, I should have but, no issues whatsoever. Whatsoever. If I'm printing standard PLA or whatever, you know, I'm really, not, I should have no issues. But if yeah, I wanted, I could put a little plaster repellent paint on there just as some added insurance or you why could. Not? Yeah, you could, but you, you shouldn't really have need for the for the PRP gotcha. um, on this nozzle. But I guess more couldn't hurt if you're it, printing down at those temps. Extra yeah. insurance is extra insurance, yeah. right? Absolutely. So we're, we're super excited. It's actually, it'll be launching next Tuesday. So gotcha. that's May 9th, I believe. Okay. Uh, it'll be launching live and be available to order uh, right then. Okay. Yeah. I might actually be looking, I might be looking into getting something yeah. like that because, you know, I run a print farm in my house and I've got, I, at this point, I have no idea how many printers I have, but you know, I, I am running uh, different materials, different plastics, mm -hmm. and from time, things I would like to slowly migrate into stuff that just works. And you know, if I've got three printers or you know three different models of printers, and I'm running different nozzles and di different this, different that, different extruders, everything, just you know, being able to take some like a nozzle yeah. and put it in there and run whatever material I want through it, not have to change, not have to change uh, temperatures, or I can get my speeds, whatever. It's just. Uh, it's, it's a whole mouthful. Yeah. But uh, yeah, being able to put something in there and kind of level out all my machines. Mm -hmm. If it's if it screws into a standard, or, you know, if it's yep. rep wrap style, and I can just plug it into everything, yep. all my different hot ends, it just fits right in. Yeah, and then you don't have to think about what nozzle do I have on this printer? Can I print this filament on this? What temperature? 
they're all the same. Yep. You just, yep. you look at it, we have our nozzle sizes engraved on the nozzle. You can look at it be like, okay, cool. That's a 0.4, <laughs> yep. I'm good to go. You yeah. know, and, very easy. And one thing that's kind of pretty bad for me is like, there are things that I want to print more often, carbon fiber or glow in the dark, just for fun stuff. I have, yeah. I do Etsy on the side. And so like, if I want to be able to offer stuff like that, but I don't want to run through, you know, half a kilogram of something. And then, like I said, turn a 0.4 millimeter nozzle into yeah. a 0 0.6 or 0 0.8, mm -hmm. you know, just, and then, oh, because that's not, yeah. it's, sure, I might be able to replace a brass nozzle for, you know, 35 cents, but the replacement time is a little, is more than 35 yeah. cents to me. It takes, yes. it takes time. And then yeah. I got to, oh, it's a nightmare. You know, when things start to wear down, maybe the actual tip of the nozzle, you know, gets shorter. So I have to re-level my bed or yep. change my Z offset. So stuff like this is being able to get this into the market is just, it's, it's huge. Yeah. We're super, super excited. Been developing it for about three years now. Our engineering team's like, awesome it's been ready working to go. on it so we're we're pumped to be uh, putting it out there and being able to show it to people so we That's haven't true. even announced like on social media what the nozzle is oh, so, so, so you're first. you're one of the first we're people to first. actually hear what gamma master is we've, That's awesome. we've name dropped it but we've not <laughs> yep. said what it is yet yep. so it's exciting awesome. well thank you very much Peyton. well yeah thank you so much thank for coming much. by yeah. uh i'll continue to take a look at the rest of your booth and what else you have to offer but i appreciate it awesome yeah thanks thank so much. you